Hey guys, welcome back. So it is some bleak and quite frankly scary times at the moment with everything that's going on. Uh, yesterday um, in the UK, every single gym was forced to close along with cafes, restaurants, um, bars, etc because the spread of the virus has just gotten so bad. Uh, yesterday, also Italy, which I was in not long ago, um, had its highest death rate ever of 600 people dying in one day. That, like, that's a crazy, scary amount. And experts predicting that the UK could be even worse than Italy. We seem to be following the same sort of trends as them, uh, and it's not looking good there. So it's kind of worrying time. So I'm, I'm kind of here to try and set something up that can help you guys as best as possible that we're training at home and things like that. Um, but I'm, firstly, I'm going to cover that in a second. We're going to get to how can you keep yourself safe at this current time? Because um, I've got a few tips that might help and I'm following them myself because I really don't want to catch this because it can be very serious. A lot. I, I've been a bit blase about it recently, but now I realise just how serious it can be and how dangerous uh, this could be. So even though I'm fit and healthy, I'm still not taking any risks because the danger is if you're unlucky and you do happen to get pneumonia from the coronavirus just for whatever reason, the hospitals are just going to be too overwhelmed to be able to treat you properly. So the likelihood of you dying is so much higher than before. Like the actual death rate isn't 1% anymore. It's actually quite considerably higher than that, especially if you get pneumonia off it. So people who are weak um, and like older people and like people with lung conditions really need to stay inside and if you you know have family like that you need to stay away from them um, because if you infect them it could be incredibly bad so some advice for all you gym goers um, I know a lot of you are on steroid cycles including myself um, important information to know about these and that could affect you is you need to stop or reduce your cycles pretty much immediately and how widespread and fast is this uh, going now um, I've done exactly the same thing before I was like oh I'm not going to catch it there's no chance but now there's actually you know there's a real chance that you could get it and the reason for reducing cycles is one uh, especially if you're taking testosterone uh, testosterone does suppress your immune system to an extent especially on high dosages uh, so you really want to be careful about that um, I've dropped my testosterone right down to 100 milligrams a week uh, I'm not coming off of it because doing PCT will put my body in an even weaker state whereas just doing it at 100 milligrams a day is only twice natural level so I should be okay, it won't suppress my immune system too much. I've also completely dropped trend because trend does reduce your respiratory system so it reduces how effective it is. People know when you're on trend and you try and do cardio, your cardio is much lower um, and that is just a fact. So obviously if you get ill with this disease and it affects your lungs and you can't breathe well, you're much more likely to get this pneumonia issue. So it's really, I've stopped that immediately. Um, I'm not taking it at all for now. I don't need to. There's no gyms open anyway, so the trend gains aren't gonna matter because I'm not gonna be as trained with the same amount of weight. But those are the two main ones. And the, one of the reasons I'm saying this as well, there's been a post going around Facebook and that saying that a thousand milligrams of trend and like taking DNP can cure it, um, which is the most stupid thing in the world, but people have actually a lot of people are actually taking that seriously. I've seen on lots of like gym pages, and I just it, it, it that's just stupid and dangerous. Um, all that's going to do is reduce your cardio output. Um, also, taking DMP because apparently, obviously, overheating kills the virus off. That's what fevers are for. Like your body goes into fever to try and kill off some of the the virus. But DMP causes you to get dangerously hot, and it causes fluid on the lungs as well. On top of having a cough and something, this is just going to make you far more likely to get severely ill. So all guys out there on cycles at the moment, just just take it back a notch. Um, just go on a cruise. You don't have to, I wouldn't come off if I were you. I'd just go on a low dose cruise, try and maintain your muscle mass. Um, I've got a bunch of cool workouts coming out. Um, I'm setting up a patron with loads of useful information. So yeah, just to begin with though, get off all of that stuff. Uh, also, you want to make sure you're eating a lot of green vegetables, um, things like that, uh, lots of fruits. Keep your vitamin C high so that if you do catch it, your immune system is going to be up there and boosted. Um, also, if you need to, take extra supplementation of vitamins. So vitamin C and zinc tablets are really good for immune system booster. Uh, also, as it being winter, basically everyone is deficient in vitamin D3 or just vitamin D. So you need to take vitamin D or go to a sunbed, but most sunbeds are shut. So you need to take vitamin D every single day, 25 unigrams, 
It's such an effective uh, vitamin for your immune system as well. And thirdly, just make sure you keep up your cardio. You, you keep trying to train your cardio and you're not just, because you're off work and not going to the gym, you're not just sitting there and letting your fitness levels drop. It's more important than ever to be as fit as possible and as healthy as possible. So it's been suggested that if you do uh, moderate levels of cardio, your likelihood of getting severe symptoms from coronavirus are much less than if you're doing low or no cardio or if you're doing extreme levels of cardio. So you don't wanna be pushing your body too hard and you don't wanna just be doing nothing. You wanna be doing that sort of in-between zone. So what I'm doing, uh, as all the gyms are shut, I'm either going for fast power walks outside, but I'm, we may be in lockdown soon, so I may not even be able to do that. So instead, I'm going to be walking up and down my stairs in my uh, block of flats. It's 11 stories. Um, so, you know, I'm going to just walk, power walk up those for half an hour, get the lift back down, power walk up, lift back down. That's going to be my cardio every single day for half an hour. As I can't use the Stairmaster, it's basically the same thing. Um, definitely gets me out of breath and, you know, help. Since I've been doing Stairmaster, my cardio has gone up way, like loads and loads. So, uh, they're the tips I can give you to avoid getting um, really bad symptoms from it if you are so lucky, unlucky to catch it. Other obvious points is just don't go outside near people in crowded spaces, try and avoid shops at busy times, just generally being sensible. But anyway, with that depressing lot out of the way, um, it's not all bad news. I'm here to provide a service and really help you guys out. So what I'm gonna be doing is I've just opened a Patreon and in that I'm gonna, because the gyms may be closed for months now, it could literally be that long before uh, you're able to get back to the gym. And a lot of people obviously don't wanna lose their gains, you wanna keep your fitness up. So I'm gonna provide a really great service in which I give you all of the following things um, for quite a cheap pri monthly price, $10 a month. You get a lot for it. It's basically my uh, individual coaching, but watered down a bit. Um, and you get a lot of stuff with it. So firstly, let's just go through what you get and then you can look at the, the Patreon itself and decide for yourself if you want the basic tier or the upgraded tier. So firstly, I'm gonna be putting at least three videos a week on the Patreon and I'm gonna be reducing my YouTube content slightly and I'm gonna be really focusing on the Patreon and people who are supporting me because at the end of the day, I've gotta make money and do a job. So those three, that's at least three videos. I'm most likely gonna try and put out a video every single day on the Patreon. And then one or two of those videos from the Patreon each week, I'll put up onto the YouTube a few days later. So I'm still gonna be putting out YouTube content. It's just gonna be delayed and Patreons are gonna get access to much more uh, videos, essentially of useful information. So in a, just after this, we'll, me and Amy are gonna be recording the arm workout with just some light dumbbells. So all the programs and workouts I'll be doing in the videos will be using bare minimum equipment because I know a lot of you guys don't have stuff. But uh, if you can get hold of some dumbbells now, I would do so before everything shuts down and you can't get access to any. Um, they're not that expensive to get a small set of dumbbells. It's an investment in your health and trying to maintain your gains as all the gyms have shut. So try and get, uh, so in the link below is the dumbbell set we have. Uh, it's pro iron and it's quite a good set because it has two dumbbells and a barbell in between. Um, but that link will be in the description along with the Patreon. So yeah, there'll be lots of um, videos privately on there. Uh, also, if you sign up, there's gonna be immediately seven videos already there that I've already pre-made that were for my old coaching clients. It has lots of training stuff in there, lots of key points. Um, they, all my clients have found it very useful, those videos. I intend to make them of the same quality, if not a higher quality now as possible. I will also be posting um, cooking videos on how to meal prep stuff, especially as there's limited food around at the moment. I'll give you some creative ideas on how to um, stretch your food as best possible and how to use things if you run out of meat or different ideas to create recipes. I'll basically be trying to help as much as possible on that front. And I'll also be talking about my good old videos where I talked about cycles. Um, I know you guys love that, talking about like the effects it had on me, um, how to use certain drugs safely and how my experience with them. I'm gonna be getting back on those and doing a load more. But now, like the old videos I used to do of them and I've deleted them now, is because there was a lot of misinformation in there and I, I missaid quite a few things. I didn't actually, at the time, fully understand exactly how the drug works, whereas now I've got a lot more experience. I've been coaching people for nearly a year. I just know a lot better. So there'll be lots of um, videos on that. Uh, Cause I know you guys like that and hearing about how trend works, my side effects all the other crazy stuff I've done in the past so that you don't have to make the same mistakes as me, basically. Because um, there is a massively complicated area and there's lots 
involved in it and each person reacts differently to different drugs it's quite a big topic to cover so i'm going to be going through loads of different stereotypes what they're actually useful for because a lot of people completely misuse drugs in the wrong way and are either wasting their money or just doing themselves harm by using these drugs incorrectly because they just don't know how to do it properly so i'm definitely going to be doing lots of videos on that um, on the Patreon page, I'm also going to be uploading my recipe book immediately. So this has got 25 recipes in it. They have exact macro breakdowns. So I made this again for my coaching clients so that they could meal prep nicer meals very simply um, in bulk. So you can create eight portions of a meal in my meal prep thing, for example, and it will tell you exactly the macros per one portion. I've worked it out very accurately in my fitness pal. So if you make the recipes as I've written down, the macros will be almost exact. Do you have to weigh anything or figure it all out? It's all done for you. Makes it really easy to follow a diet and stick to it um, and make healthy food from scratch. Also, when I, I'm gonna start creating more and more meals to this. So um, I'm just gonna keep uploading uh, meals to the, the patron whenever I create a new one. I'm going to try and at least create a few a week. There will also be written workout programs. I'm going to make a load of them. Um, there's going to be a lot of home workout stuff. Uh, a lot of body weight stuff is going to be in there because some people won't have equipment. Um, also, it's great for cardio. There'll be stuff with dumbbells and just other bits and bobs you can generally get quite easily around your house. Because like I said, the gyms could be closed globally now, it seems like, for up to two months. Um, someone in California was saying, well, the gyms are closed there. Different states in America, gyms are closing. In Europe, I think almost everything is going to just lock down soon. So it's best just to get prepared. If you can get yourself some dumbbells, go for it. But I'm going to have lots of really useful workouts so you don't have to lose your gains. You can maintain your fitness and strength. Um, I know tons of different workout ideas to make it fun and do workouts from home with very minimal equipment and yet hit the muscles really hard. So I'm excited to make a bunch of those. And also I'm just gonna be putting posts in the Patreon and trying to get an active community going. I don't read any YouTube comments, by the way. I just stopped doing that ages ago. But in the Patreon, I'll be actively talking to you guys, being more interactive, asking questions, doing polls, um, all of that sort of thing to try and actually connect with you. Uh, I stopped reading the comments ages ago just for my own reasons. But in the Patreon, I'm sure it'll only be people who are really nice and have good inputs and ideas and things like that that could help everybody. So I just basically want to try and build up like a good fitness community in this awful time. And hopefully once it's all over, keep it going. I'm going to keep the Patreon going afterwards. Get back into the gym and do more gym training videos, come up with new ideas. Uh, me and Amy have got lots of ideas going around in the head and loads of content to come out. So we're going to put all of our effort into this, especially as she's off work at the moment, working from home. She's much more able to help me record and make really good stuff very regularly. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, I'm still going to be uploading to YouTube, don't worry. And there will be some YouTube only content that won't be on the Patreon as well. I'm going to mix it up, but there'll be at least three Patreon videos a week, maybe more. And they'll all be different and they'll all be the best quality I can possibly do and uh, hopefully quite interesting, fun uh, and enjoyable. So right now is the taster of what will be on there. Um, this is an arm workout that we just came up with uh, and the program is written in the description as well along with the link to the Patreon and the link to the weights we uh, used. Um, so yeah, let's just get to the workout and enjoy the rest of the video. Be upbeat and positive now as possible um, and just hope you don't catch the virus yourself and if you do, make sure you follow the tips I said and try and keep yourself as healthy as possible, reduce your cycles down, take your vitamins, make sure you're eating properly, make sure you're sleeping well. Uh, make sure you're drinking enough water, just general health stuff. Now is more important than ever to be aware of your health and to try and be as healthy as possible. So yeah, on to the workout. Okay, so today we're gonna do simply a pump arm workout. You never need much weight for arms anyway. So we've just got these light dumbbells and we're gonna start off with supersetting uh, lying skull crushers with some curls. So let's just get some music on so it's not so boring. <laughs> and let's get going. So, Quite simply, I'm gonna lay down on the floor. And do strong pressures. High reps, cause lightweight. And then the curls, so. Pause reps for the curls to get that tension in. Just 
think about controlling the weight. We're limited here to 10 kilos per dumbbell, so. Oh, I'm already feeling the pump. set down we've already got a crazy pump going on so starting up right right so we've done four sets of that and it's already giving me a massive arm pump it's really good you don't need much weight so next up we're doing uh, single arm overhead extensions with tricep kickback superset so we can do one arm at a time and then alternate it so let's just carry on right so I start with my left arm You can do these standing up or sitting down. I just prefer to sit down. So when you're lacking weight, you can just pair exercises together to really fatigue the muscle instead. So I'm just trained to failure here. So we do four sets of that as well, back to back. Oh god, I'm feeling it in my arms already, this is going well. <laughs> okay, so next up we're going to be doing spider curls. Um, I'm going to do this on the sofa, I'll show you how. And then into hammer curl superset again, just get a crazy pump. So let's just get going. We've got the uh, the weights um, on a pillow just so we don't scrap try and nice wooden floor. Because uh, you've got to be aware of that training at home. So I'm banging at the edge of the sofa. It's almost like a preacher curl effect. Let's grab the dumbbells. Then we stand up. Hammer curls. And again, holding it at the top for pause. Oh god. Get a nice pump in there. So it's all about just high volume supersetting it when you haven't got a lot of weight and just keeping your form good, pausing and contracting reps, that sort of thing. Uh, you can see why my veins aren't feeling this. Okay, so the final uh, two exercises we're going to pair together with a superset is close grip push ups with uh, tricep dips on a chair just to get the triceps fully pumped out. I'm already pretty damn sore from this, so let's just hit it up. Again, reps to failure pretty much. So close grip push up or fairly close grip, try to set focus all the way to the floor. None of this half breath thing, you gotta go all the way down. And he was oh. like, and then 
into a chair for your bunks like this. I mean, some of this cat walked in, you know, not like a cat, but like I feel like a cat, like a real, like, you know, like, you know what I'm saying, dog? Like cats and dogs, it was raining. No, it wasn't raining, we were raving. I don't know whether he was really saying it, and all he kept saying was, eat, sleep, rave, repeat, eat, sleep, rave, repeat, eat, sleep, rave, repeat, eat, sleep, rave, repeat. Eat, sleep, rave, repeat. And that is the arm workout complete. Uh, nice and simple. Just four or eight exercises superset together to make a really good short arm workout. Only took about half 25 minutes to be honest. Uh, four sets of each, really short rest between sets, and my arms are on fire. So, a uh, bunch more workouts to come. Um, I think we're doing a leg one tomorrow, which is a bit more intense. Lots of variation of lunges, squats, jumping squats. We don't have much weight to work with, so have to be a bit creative. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Lots more to come on the Patreon. Thank you for your sign up to the Patreon. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to just produce as much good content as possible. Catch you next time.